Now this introduces the critical component in peace, faith, faith. You go to God in the midst of all your troubles because you believe in His power and His promise, right? And His provision and His resources and His love. We talk about faith. I need more faith. How do I get more faith? I'm going to make it real simple for you. Write it down. Faith is primarily thinking. Thinking. It's not something floating out in space. It's thinking. It's thinking. Thinking about what? God, His person, His attributes, His words, His works, His power, His promises. The more you read about God and think about God, the greater God becomes, and the greater God becomes in your thinking, the greater your faith will be in Him, and the greater your faith, the more eager will be your thankful prayer in the midst of trouble that brings peace. That's why the Bible talks about having a renewed mind. Romans 12, Ephesians 4, 23, Colossians 3, 2. It's about how you think, and to make that indelibly clear, go to verse 8 in Philippians 4. Finally, brethren, listen, here's the last word on this, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, and all of that would be true of God. If there's any excellence in anything worthy of praise, think on these things. And if you're thinking on those things, you're thinking about God, because all those things are true of God. God is truthful, God is noble, God is righteous, God is pure, God is gracious, God is worthy of praise. And when you think like that, Paul says, you'll do what I've done. You've, you've seen me do this, practice these things, end of verse 9, and the God of peace will be with you. You'll experience this peace. So how do we pursue peace? Through righteousness, obedience, and through faith. Trust and obey. We go back to those things over and over, don't we? But its beginning is in your thinking. Listen to Isaiah 26.3. I mentioned it. I'm going to quote it. You will keep Him in perfect peace whose mind is fixed on you because He trusts in you. Perfect peace is the product of perfect trust. Perfect trust is the result of perfect knowledge of God. The more you know about God, the more you trust Him. The more trustworthy He is, obviously, in your mind. The more you trust Him, the more eagerly you go to Him in the midst of your trouble with thankful prayer. And when you go to Him in your trouble with thankful prayer, the peace of God floods your soul beyond comprehension. This is really... This is a staggering promise in verse 27. It's, it's not surprising that I couldn't get past one verse, right? Pretty amazing. <laughs>